How's it? Hey Luz, welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Uh huh. <laughs> How's it? It's uh, Saturday, July 20th. <laughs> Yesterday was a long day. And there's like spillage accidents and I could Wow. Um I try too hard. And so well not with certain stuff, but with this um I don't know, I gotten down the people pleasing route, I think. Doing too much and anyways, and there's just a lot of this anyways. Haste makes waste. So a small little thing, let's try to keep it. I mean, I'm going to try to keep it. I always say that. Try to keep it short and it doesn't work. Okay, this is do a simple one. Goes to random words. Uh, ooh, is it the other side? Uh, vlog, yeah. Well, you know, one thing that went um, haywire is the newspaper. So, our newspaper a long time ago was the... Help. <laughs> Help, <laughs> Help says... Star Advertiser, Honolulu Advertiser, and Star Bulletin was the afternoon one. Two papers. And basically, they were uh, not doing well, so they merged into one newspaper, basic newspaper, the Star Advertiser. So it was a monopoly. Now, now they're not, I don't know, they're not, I don't think they're doing that great as far as a business wise. So, um, maybe people aren't into the print media, you know, they don't say, eh, eh, you know, I use it for the doggy paper and the sandbox and so, uh, so they're up in the charges, uh, monthly or yearly rate, depending on you want to get the discount, they're increasing their charge, right, how much they cost and so now the customer my mom as a diligent business woman from real estate time she's this is going up she checks her bill and it's like wait i pay more than my sister who also has a same newspaper and it's delivered monday through friday not saturday and then there's a sunday edition so I don't know. And then there's the online paper, which I refer to here. So it's being cut back after much attempt to get, yeah, it's a big long story, but basically she recalculated uh, the deal. I thought the online paper maybe cost money and I thought maybe I'd have to shut down my little show, well, at least the online paper part of it. And I'm like, dang, I kind of based myself on that. So I was a little worried. So basically I'm gonna get the paper uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. The other days, like Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Saturday. Coming, I don't know. So it's not for you. All of that for nothing. <laughs> so it's a lot of worry. And then there's other stuff, and I won't get into it. But it looks like summer is getting longer days. I'm not sure what's going on. It's summer's peak is over. So it's, I don't know. I wake up, I try to get the sunrise. I'm just trying not to talk about the presidential stuff. <laughs> they're trying to make, that's the thats the news. The, they're trying to get Biden to quit. I don't know if that's a good idea because there's no real, well, there's sort of a real uh, alternative, Kamala Harris. But the thing about Kamala Harris is, is this country ready for a woman president? Because it'll be a first, right? First woman president. And they might get cold feet and all that. Because it's an old boy system in a lot of still ways. Uh, and Trump is back ever again after the, the near miss. He's become sort of martyr and more messianic than messianic than before with his core base and i did that little thing with the oh, wow you know you think you're the messiah that's kind of getting antichrist material and i went and saw a video and i reported and I that, don't know. that was another that was kind of exhausting because i don't try to you know it's like 
trying to tear someone down with a huge biblical reference thing and so it's kind of like I didn't feel great about that and then I looked online you know I mean I just glanced and there's like video post at the video post at the video post it's like I nudged in in the, in the early <laughs> because now there's a lot of is Trump the Antichrist? Is Trump the Antichrist? Is Trump the Antichrist? I don't know, whatever it is, it would be bad news if he gets elected because politically, functionally, for the American democracy, it's very, very bad. And for a small elite group, they're going to take everything and rewrite it for themselves and everyone else can just go blow out the window or be deported. It depends if you're not on the loyalty wagon. Maybe they deport American citizens. What are they going to do with them? I would just... I don't know. Watch out. The secret security better be doing their job. Because that's not... These are not great things. Anyways, let's go. Let's try not to be long. It's like blah, blah, blah. Hawaii got news too. Look. Oh, the Maui wildfire. They got $4 billion in um, settlement from insurance type things. And now it's being all held up. So, the Maui, after the Maui wildfires, the actual people aren't really getting the actual stuff. Goodbye. And it's unclear whether the Hawaiian Electric Company, which they're blaming on a lot, is going to be responsible for $1.5 billion. Oh, this is four billion. Sorry, not, did I say million? Four billion dollars. Holy moly! And and uh, so it boils down to money. A little ways down the line, and they'll forget about it. Forget about it. Insurance don't want to pay. Isn't it the same old story? Fundraisers are on hold. Donations drop. So they're like, oh, I don't know. So this is like money in politics too. Fundraise. It's deciding factors are fundraisers and donations. Money in politics. It's a factor. Hello. Attic, can you hear her? Wow. I really. <laughs> I was out for a while. I really think there's like, uh, it's the hex thing because there was Happy. something, something about the witches chunky boyfriend birthday or something. there's a hex thing going on so uh let's uh let's see where were we uh 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 oh it's just eh, whatever there's golf so there's not much in the sports more golf oh back in the day uh relax remember back in the day oh i can't oh touchy touchy back in the day when you want to relax you just go out there and look at your 64 and you have a personal license plate Hawaiian waterman Duke Hanamoku's real, real license plate N10 is affixed to the back of his Lincoln Continental the plate with his moniker covers up the front license plate okay so his license plate is actually N10 in 1964 that's his license plate N10 <laughs> but he got to do his own personal one in the front you can do it in the front, but not the back. Oh, the bells are so good. Okay. Yeah, right. Anything else? I think. Hello. Oh, a political cartoon. Can you help me? I'm not sure. Can you help me? It's a political cartoon. They didn't see us again. Thank God. The world passed us by, left on the stranded. On the oh, so it's better to be off the world in a desert, sh deserted island? I don't know. I guess so. It's. <laughs> Kind of like Hawaii without the shipping industry. Project, let's just do that one. Project 20. Oh. Harold, up here. I can't speak. Uh huh. Bedroom. Oh, brother. Okay, don't go oh, careful. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Project 2025 paves the way toward a dismal future. When reading, I've been reading Project 2025 and agree with the recent letter writer's comments. Project 2025 manifesto is a must read for all voters. <laughs> for all voters. Cite article July 17th. If you love the USA and want to have the same things you have now, read this document. It is a 990, 992 pages long. And Ghostbox calls it idiotic, but changes 
everything you take for granted. Before you vote, this is a must read. This election is not about who's older. Colleen Swain, Connie Oi. I gotta, uh, thank you, Colleen. I gotta get out of that scrolling. It's not a lot. There's something wrong. It's the, it's the hex it's about. Now out is in and in is out. See, that was another thing. I, I. It's impossible. My sunrise files. There's in the beginning one and end one. They got swapped. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Project 2025. You're just cluing in there, Colleen. <laughs> it's spread the word. And they try. They're trying to deny that. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I don't know. It has nothing to do with us. Mm -hmm. Because they know that if you read that outline of, I think they implemented some. Please stop. But if they put that in place, and it's a one, two, three, what to do right when you get into office, and if you I notice, if you notice Trump in some of the parts of his speech, he was saying, as soon as I get in office, I'm going to make it great again right away. He's like, right away. And that earlier stuff, I'm going to be dictated from day one. I think he means he's going to sign a whole lot of executive orders, trying to break everything down that was happening before and trying to reverse a whole bunch of executive orders. And the project 2025 is like a, a, a fast track what to do plan. And it's bad the results would be you wouldn't have America afterwards I mean I'm just saying and the Supreme Court they're gonna have like new people on the Supreme Court pretty soon you know and it's gonna be 100% MAGA not bias it's impossible <laughs> Nobody so, understands. Nobody understands. That's okay. I think everybody gets it. <laughs> I got smart readers. Smart viewers. I, 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 I think it's time to... Let's can this. Okay. Aloha. Have a great... What day is it? Saturday. Have a great Saturday now. Aloha. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Look. Okay. Have a good day. Uh, does this work? I don't know. Just have, have a good day. Uh, don't try, just, just it is. Yes, aloha to you.